Hey guys, today we're going to do Jeremy's booster box. I'm going to move some of the cards out of the way because it kind of is very messy. We just did like four fat packs, so the room is a mess. But anyway, hopefully Jeremy does very well. He did extremely well in his fat pack, which I guess I'll put his fat pack cards because it's the same card. Well, let's see, how should we do it? Let's move this one. It's just a stack of cards everywhere. Let's move this to the side. And yeah, this is what he got initially. Uh, it was very, very good. Um, probably one of the better fat packs I've ever seen. And yep, yeah, Emiko, Falia, Deep Elder Fiend, uh, free mythics, including that mythic spider, which is worth slight amount of money and I'll just put the midnight scavenger away that was kind of more for fun so good luck Jeremy we hope that you get uh, something equally as good so I guess I'll put all the big pulls on the side or the mythics and then see what we get at the very end finally it was very nice I do prefer this artwork over the other artwork Emiko is very nice the spider is very nice Aldrich Evolution is very nice, and then obviously Gisela. So, I mean, pretty much there was no misses, and that was just some of the highlights. That fat pack, but on to the booster box we go. I still have not seen a Liliana or a Tameo, so I'm hoping that when we open this box for Jeremy, we will see a Lily or a Tameo. So, here we go. So, there's a Lily and Tameo. Good luck. I'm not going to really do the commons that much. I might do the uncommons. I do have uh, Blood Mist, Geist, Foul, Deploy the Gatewatch as a Mythic, so that is kind of interesting as a Mythic. Definitely going to be a deck. I feel like it will be a deck in Standard because people love Planeswalkers. So the first pack was a Mythic. Maybe not the Mythic you want to see, but... A mythic nonetheless. Axe, Dusk, Chilling, uh, Geist, Reach, and Tangle, Claw, Werewolf. So, pretty okay so far. I'm gonna open some more. Bloodbriar, Convolute, uh, Peace of Mind, Chilling Grasp, Stag. Imperious Devils, Werewolf, and a Foil Uncommon. Not too bad. I do like the Devil card. It is a Trample Haste 6 1 and uh, very difficult to beat down with. Uh, it's very difficult to deal with if you are an opponent. So, Jeremy is very unique. He lives in Australia, so I will be taking, I will be trading him for the Uncommons and Commons. I'll probably send you a few Angels. Uh, for your Gisela deck or your Kalia, maybe some dragons. We'll see. Liliana, the last hope. Oh man, and there we go. Wow, and it didn't take us very long. Double mythics, one deployed a Gatewatch, and people are very not happy about Liliana, but I think she's strong enough. She's very, very good. A free man of Planeswalker in standard normally doesn't have to be that strong. Next, we have Savage Alliance, Lurker, Outrider, Coax from Blind Eternities, and a Captive. So you may choose an Adrazi card. Oh, this is the Adrazi Tutor. I think you might see some modern play. It definitely is not uh, terrible. I'm trying to keep the box on the screen but at the same time. Definitely not a terrible box so far. We got Call of the Gatewatch, which is a beautiful picture as well as Liliana. Ooh, and we hit value. We are going to value town, and this is a $10 rare. I'm pretty sure of it. So Liliana, deploy the Gatewatch uh, spell. Very good for the human deck. We'll see a lot of play. And yeah, Jeremy's been getting Hamlet Captain is very good. Subligate Angel. Oh, wait. I don't. I didn't know that you could get the same rare in, in a booster box. 
Um, very, very strange. This is slightly unique in that it is a prize box. So prize boxes are generally, in my opinion, better because I think they load it up. I don't know if that's true or not. So separator and rats nets. Um, but I mean, we got two mythics. We got a planeswalker. All I really want to see is a Tamio. Tamio would, and then you would probably have all the really good mythics in the set if you pulled the Tamio out right now. Tamio! Oh man, this is crazy. This Jeremy is. Wow, he is going to. Wow, there's Tamio. I don't, okay, let's see the rest. I didn't even like see the, what the rest of the cards were, but there's um, there's Tamio. Tamio, Liliana, what else? I mean, what else do you have? You got the Amoco, you have the Gisela, you have the Spider that's worth like 10 bucks, you have the rares, you have all the good rares. Um, Jeremy, I don't know what else you could really want out of this box because I don't know what's left. With double Planeswalkers, I mean, there's only two Planeswalkers in this set. Do you have them? Dark Salvation and a, f oh wow, this is pretty good too. Uh, the Hanway Garson, which becomes that legendary creature. I think that's very good. Dark Salvation. I'm trying to think of what else you could possibly want in this set. You From the Fat Pack and then this, this booster box already, you pretty much accumulated all the value, all the valuable mythics. Splendid Reclamation and yeah. So that's why, you know, I always feel like that when you do prize boxes, they do a lot better. I don't know why that is. Uh, mainly, I would assume it's because they want new players to be like hyper excited. But yeah, this is a prize box. And you have Cameo. Cameo, this is a fantastic box. Uh, maybe Gisela would be great. Another Gisela, uh, Nimbles of Frost. Conduit and a foil. This is a very good spirit. Um, definitely, if you're going to get a foil, get this one. It is a one creature spirit flying, uh, one one flying. Whenever inner spirit enters your control, it gets plus one plus one. Sacrifice it. Counter target instant sorcery where where it uh, for X where X is the number of spirits you control. It's only upside because it's a one one like. What else would you want? It's kind of like, I wish they had a vampire like that. That way they could push the vampire decks. Vampires were not very strong this time around. Repel, Whispers, Providence. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is an interesting card. It gives you 26 life, which is interesting, but not. I mean, I don't know what else we could possibly pull. We pulled the two Planeswalkers. Um, we got our foil rare. So I'm guessing the rest of this will just be meh. Murder, collective e effort is very good. Hopefully you can piece together um, this part, the meld. But yeah, Tamio and most, most boxes, I just hope to get one Tamio or one Liliana, but to get two is pretty good. Phileas Lanchers and a Smoldering Werewolf. I'm gonna move this to a side a tiny bit to make room for more. Yeah, I think all of the excitement came from the first few packs. I don't know what else there's left. We did get a Oh, Eldrick Evolution number two and Hanway Battlements. Okay, we made our uh, meld card. These two make the meld card and another Eldrick Evolution number two. Just the value is incredible. So that pack just had a ton of value to it. Battle Mints is very good because you can play it even without the meld, which is pretty much what you want to look for because meld is not great. Uh, Spirit of the Hunt, Extractor of Sin. Oh, this is the where you, you have one of these, I feel like. Or someone has opened one of these. So overall, very, very good. We made our meld cards. Maybe we're looking for Gisela, but Gisela is a mythic meld, so I don't know how we have two Brunas and a Gisela from the pack openings. Amico's average in, oh rats, this was a terrible pack. Um, but on we go. I mean, it's nice. I would rather like the last fat pack you pulled there, Jerry pulled the 
Zeller from the last pack when it already was amazing. So maybe that's what's going to happen. This is the, we're going to save the most amazing cards for the last. This, oh, this is um, the other Emerge card. The Adrazi Insect. It is the Distended Mindbender. So very, very, I don't know. How do you guys like Emerge? I think it's okay. It's decent, but I don't think it's like incredible. Um, let's see what we got. Fortune Favor, Prying Questions, Cigarder's Aid, very good card. You get like a ton of these little rats, like geez, there's so many of them. All right, so I'm just going to take, well, the Liliana, well, I'll just move stuff up here so that you can see more of it. Pretty powerful cards, really. Um, I do like this set a lot. I think there's a lot of powerful cards that don't appear powerful until later. Uh, Ride Down, Campaign of Vengeance, Sealed Maid, and Wanderer, which is very good. So that's Wanderer number two. And we have a, wow, I don't know what this is. Final Iteration. Oh, this is the um, really cool, uh, it, I think it's very good. It's a 5-4 five, for four, 5 flying. And whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you get a put a 1-1 one, one human wizard. Um, and then if you control three or more wizards, it becomes this giant 6-5. It gives your wizards plus two, plus one, and flying. So I think that card is actually probably one of the better cards in this set. It looks very good as a five drop. It can finish the game, which is what you're looking for as a five drop because that's a lot of mana. Blessed Alliance, Shard, Dragon Well, Pyramiding Mass, of course. Pro oh, wow. Wow, this card is amazing. Wow, we got there. Wow. This is the value that Jeremy is being able to get. Like, it's insane. I don't understand how... This is our second foil rare. I don't get it. Like, but anyway, like, whatever. Like, cool. <laughs> and of course, we got... Well, I don't even know. We got the mask. So, yeah, this, this is a prize box. And this is what prize boxes look like. A lot of times you can't really piece together a prize box, Lone Road Home, because no one wins. And you know, Princess Philia, and oh wow, another foil. Backwards, but we got another Philia. So we pretty much doubled up on everything we needed. Eldritch Evolution, Philias, Spell Quellers, the Messian Wanderers. I mean, the value in this box is insane. It is insane, because I know this card alone is $10. The foil of it, it's gotta be worth a ton. And we're not even like halfway down the box. Faith Broken, Tree of Perdition, which is okay if you like EDHs. Um, how many Mythics are we at? We're at four. Can I expect another Mythic? Tamiel, Liliana, Tree of Perdition, and then that other dude, Mythic. Oh, call, deploy the Gatewatch. Assemble the uh, Avengers. Fortune Favor, Subjugated Angel, Lupin Prototype, all right. Cool, cool. I think the only other card we can really honestly hope for that we have not pulled value-wise is probably Gisela. And that would be insane if we just pulled her soon. Uh, Prying Questions, Behemoth, Vampire Cutthroat, Stormkirk Condemned, and Nada. What was I saying? This is really a surprise because we pulled a foil rare already. Normally you're supposed to get like one a box. Prey Upon is very good. I like that card a lot. Academy. Clear Shot. Elder Deep Fiend. Yes, yes, yes. That is valuable. That is the Emerge card everyone wants. We doubled up literally on all the things we needed to double up on. We have Elder Fiend, Philia, and Eldritch Evolution. So yes, this was a fantastic booster box. Maybe let's double up on Emical. No, I think Gisela is better. Let's get Gisela. Crypt Breaker, Midnight Scavenger, and that is, we're going to have some really bad cards. How many packs do we have left? We have like eight packs left, I want to say. They're not bad, eight packs is still quite, that's, that's a lot of cards in this pack. This is the best, one of the best booster boxes I've opened. Oh, we got there. Are you kidding me? 
Wow, this spider is like $10 right now. As of the time of this recording, this dude is $10 and you got, you doubled up on the spiders. Wow, Liliana, five mythics and they're all semi-good. I mean, it's gotta be Gisela a bust, right? If we hit Gisela, like what else, what else could you possibly want from this box? An expedition. Sacrifice your souls, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, we're gonna have some crappy cards. I would love, love, love to see a Gisela to end it, just like last time. That's like really greedy. This is a f fantastic box. And okay, we have five more packs left. I wanna say yes, five more packs. But I mean, yeah, the spider dude is pretty good for a mythic. He's like more valuable than he used to be by a lot. People are playing him, testing him. New constrictor, okay, we don't wanna see this red card. All right, five packs left. Um, Gisela a bust. And then we'll do a recap. We'll do a recap of the booster box just by itself. Spreading flames. Ah, oh, collect. See, now we get the cards that I don't even know about very much. Collective Brutality, which is one of those um, Escalate cards. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not. Zella, come on. Oh, no. Hair one's Grace, but we do have a foil. I knew we would get this guy because we always get him. It's common. Bruna! Oh, what? What the? All right, but like, you know, you can make your Brizella. So, um, not bad. We made your Brizella and we made uh, this one. So we have two packs left. I mean, we got to pull Brizella. Like, n enough Brunas. We, we pulled enough Brunas. We need a Gisela again, because this is the third Bruna I pulled. I assume that the ratio of Brunas and Giselas are exactly the same. It would have been amazing if it, but I guess for Jeremy, now he has both. Which is good, because it's an extra card. There is something in the behind here. Give no ground, imprison the moon. Oh, that's an interesting one. Okay, there is a foil, it is blue. I don't know any good blue cards. Fortune's favor. Yeah. Last pack, I would say that you did extremely well. And it was a tremendous amount of value. So, what are we hoping here? I don't feel an extra card in the back. Rise from the grave. Spreading flames. Scourge. Okay, this mob card. That I don't. It's a zombie. Grizzly Angler. Alright, I mean, all in all, I, I would assume this is a very good box let me go ahead so this was from the fat pack which you had these were just part of the fat pack right this was a very good fat pack Gisela, Aldrich Evolution, the Mythic Spider, Emiko, Deep Fiend, Valia, and then the Decimated Province but I think your booster box in my opinion was even better because you got both Planeswalkers there's only two Planeswalkers in this as I move my cards just around there's only two Planeswalkers in this entire set and you got them both you got the most, probably the most expensive rare foil that you could get that we'll see, you know, substantial play. You got to make your, uh, make two mail cards. You got your Bruna, which wasn't as great as Gisela, but still. So let's take a look at your value cards in this booster box. Spider is probably worth 10 bucks. Deep Fiend, I think is worth like 10 bucks. Lupin, Tree Burdition is probably not worth that much. Filia, I love Filia. Province. Museum Walker. I think this card is worth something because people will play spirits. Dawson of Perfection. It looks very strong. I would be surprised if that was not worth anything. So Garter's Aid is very good. Um, let me put it here. Aldrich Evolution number two. Nimbus of Frost is kind of good, I guess. Bruna with your Gisela. This is nice. This was a total surprise. Like I could not, from the way the pack was going, the fact that we already had a four rare. Mm. And then your version number two, this card will be one of the best cards in standard. I'm pretty sure of it. Princess Lily. And uh, we'll get to the better princess a little later. Deploy the Gatewatch. Uh, foil. Handway, we have both the combination. Huron's Champion, Collective Brutality. Um, lot, 
we, we pretty much, oh, this is the Hanway Battle Map, so we can make the meld card wherever the, just take my advice, just take my word for it, we can make the meld card. And of course, the best princess of all, Hamio. So, I mean, out of a booster box, the fact that you pulled both Planeswalkers, you pulled um, very well for your rare slots. And yeah, I mean, this is a very fantastic booster box. I would love to see if anyone has a better booster box than this. But this is what a prize box is. A prize box, I'm pretty sure they load it up with all these goodies. And if you can get your hands on one of them for the same price as a regular booster box, why not? Because it is well worth your money. So, I mean, Jeremy, we just pulled... I knew the day would come when we pulled really well. Yeah, you know, <laughs> this is from the Fat Pack. I mean, we doubled down on every card that we needed to double down on, and we got our Lily, and we got our Tamio. So, yeah, crazy. Bye.